Well, can we get one more song off one here more. in the country? What What would that be, gentlemen? Thumb, one called Thumbing Down. Oh, yeah. I'm thumbing down from Richmond Town in the driving rain Thinking of a blue-eyed girl I'd love to see again She told me that she loved me and she would forevermore In just a few more hours I'll be standing at her door It killed me when I had laid still I had to go her daddy swore he'd shoot me down, although she loved me so. If I had to live without her, I'd soon not to live at all. I'm coming down from Richmond Town to answer my heart's call. Bad, so when he killed a time or two Shot a man in urban town To have something to do My love reaches farther than The barrel of a gun I'm coming down to Richmond town Claim the prize I won It killed me when I had to leave Still I had to go Her daddy swore he'd shoot me down Although she loved me so If I had to live without her I'd soon not to live at all I'm coming down from Richmond Town to answer my heart's call. He'd kill me when I had leave, still I had to go. Her daddy swore he'd shoot me down, although she loved me so. If I had to live without her, I'd soon not live at all. I'm bumming down the Richmond down, answer my heart's call. Live in Studio B, you're listening to Terry Balkum and his Dukes of Drive here on WNCW Spindale, WSIF Wilkesboro. We are legal and we are jamming up here today. That song right there, to me, uh, really, really illustrates that drive that we always talk about with you, Balk. I mean, it, that, that to me is a great illustration of that banjo and drive. you mentioned that about Will singing. He does sing like I play. Drive. That's why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's a good one, and I like him a lot. And Coke, Coker, man, he's a hard-beat guy's here. That's a dulcet-sounding box he's playing. Is that a Martin? Yes, sir. Oh, it sounds beautiful, man. I, I love that string bend he does on the end of that one, too. You know, he, he comes across as the shy one. He lets his guitar do the talking, my goodness. We love his playing. And Will actually brought Thumb and Down to the band. Um, tell him about that, because you had done a solo project uh, a few years ago. Right. So I, that song's been following me around for about seven years or so. I've uh, been in a couple different bands where it came up. A good friend of mine wrote it, Dave Carroll. He plays with the band Hammertown. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's been following me around for several years, and I, I did record it on my second solo project, uh, Rhythm Section's the name of the project. But, uh, yeah, so I decided to bring this song out again because I, like you, thought that it really fit Terry really good with the drive, yes, you did. know. So Pulls that I drive right out, man. Definitely yeah. blessed to get to record this song with them and, Really, really like the song a lot. So, mm-hmm. it was great. Well, thanks for putting that on the album for sure. You know, you were talking about Clint, and I'm not talking about him like he's not in the room, but I mean, <laughs> you're talking about the shy one, right? And I remember I was sitting here thinking while I was watching him play, uh, he seemed shy and kind of stoic, and he's just over there just just smoking, mm-hmm. uh, you know, on those lead breaks and stuff. That's and what he does. It reminded me of Chris Luquette. Of, um, oh, man, yeah. Uh, he, he's the same way. He got he, kind of that same, uh, but over there just smoking your brains out, and just, but he's just as stoic as could be, kind of, you know, I don't know. But uh, you got to watch out for those quiet, shy guys, man. <laughs> this they'll is be, true. They'll be ripping it up, you know. Don't let him fool you. Box kind of, <laughs> box, box like that when he plays, too, kind of, you know. He just, uh, he's at the business he's getting down to it gun. <laughs> <laughs> well y'all are y'all done with live gigs for the year are you finished till the first of the year 
Yeah, but it starts up immediately after uh, going to Jekyll Island, Georgia right. for the big festival down there. And then right off of that, coming to the foundation January 14th. So not a lot of time off from live performing, thank goodness. Mm. First I class mean, bluegrass. Yeah, coming up first, uh, bluegrass first class, bluegrass first class in uh, Asheville in February and uh, up to Berryville, Virginia yeah. in March. And on Merle Fest this year. Yeah, I'll be playing on Saturday of Merle Fest, so uh, on looking the Watson forward to stage. that. Um, haven't gotten our stage schedules. They said we would be on two different stages on that Saturday, so okay. I'm uh, honestly still waiting to see uh, which two stages. But right. uh, Well, you're always on the Watson stage as an MC. Well, right. you know, any stage at Merle Fest is a great stage oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. because of the, the crowds, but... Uh, getting to bring the drive-in bluegrass to Merle Fest, the guys are really looking forward to. But but a lot of fun things coming up uh, for the coming year. But yeah, not a lot of downtime with the with Jekyll Island, Georgia, and then the foundation coming mm. up um, right after the first of the year. So, but well, at least uh, right around the holidays, you you all have a rest time somewhat. Yeah, I guess. that's always fun too. But you Don't know, start th- working on that Christmas album then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple of rehearsals, you know, scheduled in that time too and that's the thing about it you know they love it so much it's not like work um it's just fun to get together and hang and uh these guys you know jamming their hearts out um where do y'all rehearse it do you rehearse at your house typically yes um typically they come to us Oh, uh, talk about where, where was the, the new album recorded? And Was it recorded in one studio, or did you go different places? Here's the ca- uh, Get in your mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cana, Virginia, West Easter. Yeah. He's been doing stuff, you know, with Doyle and I and a bunch of people and everything. And uh, it's kind of crude over there, but it's quaint, you know, sitting in the woods, you know. Uh-huh. And Wes has been doing it a long time. So. Yes, he is. There's some good ones around here, though, aren't they? Sure. Up in Asheville, yeah, there's yeah. some. And uh, we got a great recording engineer right here in, in our house, man. And that's, yes, you know, for a community college, that's saying, I mean, that's something you just don't find every day. Oh, I know. So. Yeah, Bach is so comfortable with Wes. He's been working with him for so long. And, and I think, you know, it's important to have that relaxed atmosphere so that, you can perform at your most top level. And I think, you know, on this album, these guys really did. And, you know, it starts with getting those good songs. And fortunately, a lot of songwriters are sending in things now. And we got to go through a whole lot of uh, fresh material before picking the 10 that went on here in the country. And mm-hmm. since you had played it on the air previously before the live session, um, Jamie Daly sent that one to us. He wrote that with a friend of his, Devin McLamory. And Jamie also took the cover art for the uh, front of the CD uh, from his property in Gainesboro, Tennessee, that that beautiful country Pretty. scene, and so uh, yeah. appreciate Jamie and his his contribution to to here in the country for sure. That's the new record here in the country, and uh, you'll get to hear songs off of it, plus a whole lot more. January fourteenth down here at the Foundation, Terry Balkum's Dukes of Drive, and we got Darren and Brooke Aldridge and Backline. It's gonna three acts, big show, and a lot of cool North Carolina folks playing at that. So. We look forward to having y'all there and look forward to seeing everybody there. And if, uh, well, your your show, Knee Deep in Bluegrass, syndicated across the country, you have a station guide, folks, if they want to find where it is in their area to listen to, or you can listen on the stream, I guess, right? There's a lot of ways to listen. Yeah, Yeah, there's a station finder page at kneedeepinbluegrass.com. Um, but, you know, with all the web streams and the apps to your smart devices, plus AM and FM radio all across the country, um, yep. lots of ways to listen, but that's good. You know, get the get the bluegrass out there as many ways as we can. And Cindy and Bach are going to be filling in for me on Christmas <laughs> Eve here on Going Across the Mountain. Actually, their Christmas special is... I couldn't get them to come we're, alive. Well, we're happy to give you a break for the holidays. <laughs> but it is always fun to get in the recording studio with Bach and do that Christmas show. Yeah. So we'll be doing that. And and uh, and again, these guys will be preparing for the shows uh, coming up. And um, 
you know, bringing some uh, fresh songs to the table, and as you said, many from the current release here in the country. Right. On Box on Label, Driving Duke Records. Dri- yes, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, because I was forgetting to. Sorry. Well, that's why that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. That's, no, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm here because these guys allow me to to tag along. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, great that Balk, after all these years, uh, is enjoying playing bluegrass as much as he ever has um, because these guys um, make him proud. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. And I appreciate y'all coming. I'm going to wrap it up, though, but a reminder again, January 14th, come see them live down here at the Foundation Performing Arts Center. Um, information about it at foundationshows.org. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks, Thank Balk. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Thank you so guys. much, Joe. Thanks, we appreciate Thanks, what Joe. you do. Thank you. All right. I'm going, to, uh, well, I'm going to schmooze a minute, and then I'm going to get back down the hall, but I think I gave Sean a little tune from the Urban Monroes to fill in the time here on WNCW Live. A Studio B Sessions made possible by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Thank you very much.